welcome to Van Dyke and Company. Dick's Company tonight, Lucille Ball. Here, Mr. Healy. Richard, okay. get in there, and remember, Marion will try every trick she knows to keep her show on the air. Now, good luck. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> well, good news, I've just been made vice president in charge of programming. Oh, that's wonderful, Richard. It's about time they promoted the only person around here who was a decent human being. Yeah. Well, Marion... Someone who is intelligent and cultured and has good taste. <laughs> Well, Mary... Someone who believes that creativity and loyalty are more important than greed and profits. You know, I really like you, Richard. Well, thank you, Mary. Now get out. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mary, now, there's something I have to tell you that's very, very important. It's something that it can't wait. Well, hurry up. I'm in a foul mood today. <laughs> well, I could come back tomorrow. I guess. Just a minute. Hmm? Just a minute. Come on, sit down. Okay, thank you very much, Marion. <laughs> Not there, stupid. <laughs> Over here, stupid. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, uh, let me hear what you have to say. Well, Marion, it's, it's uh, yeah, about your show. Oh, thank you. Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Marion, your show's been on the air for a uh, long time. A very long time. Uh, very, very long time. Would you... Uh, Care for some coffee? Yes, some coffee would be nice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I uh, shouldn't have given you a cup. <laughs> Well, you know, for ten years your show was a was a very popular show. You know, I mean, everybody loved. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> everybody loved it. You know, the ratings were fantastic. It won all. Uh, Marion, what, what, what's that you're taking there? Sleeping pills. <laughs> but, uh, wouldn't you call that a, a kind of a heavy dose? I'd call it an overdose. <laughs> Mary, don't you know what you're doing to yourself, taking a whole bottle of breath mints? Well, perhaps I was a little hasty. You know, I, I thought you were going to tell me my show was canceled. Your show was canceled? Can, can, can. Yeah, your show was canceled. I couldn't think I... What made you think I had such an idea? Oh, I, I feel so relieved. However, you know television is a business, and it went... Oh, good, I could use a little fresh air. <laughs> However, I... Hey! Hey! hey, hey. Alright, now what did you want to tell me? Well, I just wanted to tell you that I thought the show tonight was, was brilliant. You did? It was the best show I ever saw in my life. Now, will you come back in, Marion? <laughs> you, uh... You really liked it? It was absolutely perfect, Brian. I mean, it was a, it was a gem. <laughs> a gem? Is that all? It was a triumph. It was a sensation. It was an Emmy winner. <laughs> You're right. It was perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about it. It would. I loved that show. <laughs> all right. Now, what is it that you were trying to say to me? Well, Marion, your show has been kicked. <laughs> your show has been kicked. <laughs> Richard, get hold of yourself. You are now a vice president. Right. Now, if you've got something to say to me, say it. I'm over twenty-one. I. Heard all kinds of news, and I'm still in one piece. Now be a man and give it to me straight. All right, I will, Marion. Marion, your show's been canceled. <laughs> I don't think I heard you correctly. I, I said your show's been gay. Your show's been gay. Now, uh, Richard, you go and tell the rest of the executives that I'm here and I'm here to stay. Okay. Oh, before you go, huh? um, I want you to know that this is strictly business, nothing personal. Right, not, I understand, nothing personal. Because if it were, I don't think it would be very good for our marriage, Richard. <laughs>
just think of it, Helen. We've been married 40 years today. Yeah. 40 years ago, you were a sickly, dying man of 75, and the doctors told me you could go any second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you came into my life. You married me. Yeah. Yeah. You're only 35 years old. <laughs> My friends told me you was only after my vast fortune. Yeah. We showed them, didn't we? Where are you? Oh. We lived on together for 40 years. Yeah. My doctor just told me I could live another 40. Well, I'm as strong as a bull. Yeah. Well, let's drink a toast to our future. Okay. It's a very romantic idea. Yeah. Do you remember our honeymoon night, Helen? <laughs> Let's not reminisce anymore, huh? Okay. Okay, here. Oh, it's sweet. Uh, let's have a toast. <laughs> I'm all right. But no more champagne gives me a headache. Well, how would you like to blow out the candles on our anniversary cake? Oh, right. Darn near forgot. Yeah. <clears throat> right, go ahead, blow them out and make a wish first. Uh, 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 make a wish. I wish I may. I wish you might. Get it right for just one night. <laughs> I don't remember wishing for that. <laughs> what now? Well, I'm going to give you a nice anniversary kiss. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. Puck her up. Okay. Shut your eyes. Okay. Keep them shut. Oh, oh what a kiss! I can walk. I can walk. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I think you melted my denture. I got an idea. Oh. I got a good idea for you. How about, uh, how about some fresh air out on the balcony? We don't have a balcony. <laughs> don't have a balcony. That's right. <laughs> Look, Edgar, I, uh, I think maybe you could use a nice pick-me-up, huh? Where, where are you saying, oh, sweetie okay, pie? okay. Good thing there's no pick-up today. I'd be gone. Here you are, sweetie. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Uh, how's about a toast? Yeah, a toast. Yeah. May we be as happy on our 50th anniversary as we are on our 40th. That's yeah, good. Drink up, honey. Bah, why not? Oh, that's, that's, that's one heck of a drink. Good. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. You're still thinking? <laughs> Why don't you and me... Excuse me for just a minute. <coughs> Hello? Uh, Los Angeles Bugle? I like the place on obituary. <laughs> I'm 
rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> did you do it? Yeah, I did it. I'm a wealthy woman. We can finally get married. That's great. <laughs> and I know just the spot for our honeymoon. Where? Do you, uh, ski? No. Good, we'll go to the Alps. Oh, we'll go to the Alps. <laughs> well, well, to be, maybe we can go wading in the Alps. Yeah? <laughs> Goodbye, sweetie. You know, everybody knows Lucy as a funny lady and as a talented performer. And I think I can say a legend in her own time. What was that again? <laughs> I say a legend in her own time. That's what I say. Is that good? That is very good. <laughs> Everybody knows this about Lucy. Not too many people know that she writes her own songs. And tonight, as a very special treat for me, she's asked me to sing one of her own songs with her, and I'm thrilled to death. So go on, hit it, will you? Wait a minute. Cut. Hold it, Devon. Hold it. Andy, what are you doing here? I have come to be on your show. Andy, would you please, do you have any idea who this is? Do you have any idea who you're interrupting right now? Do you have any? Of course not, what am I saying? He doesn't know what I'm doing. Just go back where you came from, please, and make it fast, will you? Because- Wait, 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 wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I know who this young man is. I've seen him on your show many times, and I think he's just sensational. You do? Yes, certainly do. And Dick, I know that he always interrupts your guests. And they've all been very good sports about it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not happen to be one of them. Oh, hey, Lucy. Do you see what you've done now? Do you see what you've done? Thank <laughs> you. 
Sing a little song to you before we say goodnight. Sing a song to me, I'd yeah. love it. Can I? Yeah. Or would you come over here and sit down? I heard this song and it just fits you for some reason. It made me think about it. And it says, You make it so easy. You make it so right. When I'm close to you, seems you know how to please me. Day or night. So if I'm smiling, it's only cause you make me shine. And you make loving you, you make it easier every time. Oh, you make it so simple, you make it so free. I never thought that I'd feel so good inside and still be me. So if I'm shining, I take it for a real good sign. You make it easy, you make it easier every time. Oh.